Hey guys, this is Prash. Welcome to The Better Crypto. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to set up staking using a hardware wallet. In this case, I'm going to show it to you using a Ledger Nano S, but the same can be done with a Trezor or a Nano X. I just want to mention two prerequisites that you'll need before we get started. One is a Yoroi wallet extension already installed on your device. You can go ahead and check the description where I'll have a link that'll take you to the Yoroi wallet website where you can download and install the browser extension. And once you're done that, you will also need a hardware wallet itself. So to get started, you're going to want to go to start ledgerwallet.com I select download and select the operating system in this case I'm going to select Mac and install ledger on my device once you have it installed you can open up the application and you'll see a screen like this we're going to click the get started button I'm going to go ahead and click through here and in this case I, I do have the nano s so let's select that once you click setup you'll see a walkthrough modal that's going to explain some basics about ledger so first off you should always know that your crypto assets are stored on the blockchain they're not stored on your wallet you just need a private key so that you can access and manage them next up it's going to say that you own your private keys so your private keys are actually stored on your hardware wallet itself make sure that you're the only one that has access to your private keys your recovery phrase and even your wallet itself your ledger device operates as a cold storage wallet meaning that it's offline so even when you do plug it in it's not going to be getting network access and you'll see how this works later on when you're going and signing transactions and uh, finally ledger live is a handy application that allows you to buy sell and manage crypto cardano is not supported so we're going to be linking it to your Roy wallet and managing our cardano through there but if you have other crypto cryptocurrencies you can manage those using ledger live and then cardano using your Yoroi wallet so that's it let's go ahead and click let's do this and let's get started i'm going to be guiding you through the entire process in this video but also you can follow the instructions on screen if you do get confused you're going to see a warning message that just says uh, make sure you follow the steps at every stage we'll go ahead and tap got it over here at this point you're going to want to go ahead and turn on your hardware wallet to do that you can take the usb cable provided and uh, simply plug it into your computer and you'll see some instructions on screen just a quick recap on how to navigate and use the device itself there's going to be a left button and a right button you use those to toggle between the available options and then if you tap both at the same time that counts as a selection to get started you're going to tap the right button a few times until you see an option that says set up as new device when you see that tap both buttons at the same time and it'll go ahead and enter the, this new workflow it's going to ask you for a pin code so this pin is used to unlock your device whenever you're plugging it in it's an added security benefit so back over in ledger live after you tap next step you will see a screen that just gives a little bit of information about the pin code make sure it's four to eight digits long and we're gonna hit yes on this checkbox and go to the next step over here you're gonna see a screen that says how you can set your pin code use a left or right button to change digits and then press both at the same time to confirm that digit and select the check mark once you're done with your pin code once you're done you're gonna confirm the pin code you just entered and then tap the next step button back in ledger live next up is the recovery phrase so this is the most important aspect of this entire process I'm just gonna tap the checkbox so that we can continue here in ledger live and let me explain what this is so your recovery phrase is a representation of your private key it's displayed as 24 words you want to make sure you write this down on your recovery sheet so inside the box you should have three pieces of papers they should be blank make sure it's blank or if yours did not come with a recovery sheet reach out to ledger support right away your device may be compromised and you really don't want to proceed past this step what you're going to do is cycle through each of the words one by one shown on screen on your ledger you're going to write down what's shown on the ledger to your piece of paper in the correct order and match them with the number shown on the ledger device. And you do this for all 24 words. Go ahead and pause the video here if you need to and write down your recovery phrase. And remember, ledger or anyone else will never ask for your recovery phrase. If they're asking for it, it's most likely a scam and do not enter your recovery phrase anywhere. Your recovery phrase is actually also going to be used in case you lose your ledger device or if your device somehow malfunctions and stops working, then you will be able to restore access to your funds, which remember sit on the blockchain. You're just using your device advice to sign transactions and to hold the private key offline. So once you're done this, you've completed the most important step. You've written down your recovery phrase on the sheet and you've confirmed it within the device and you should see a message that says your device is now ready. So before we move forward, you're gonna see a quick little quiz in Ledger Live. This is just to test your knowledge and, and maybe reinforce some of the concepts that I already went through in this video. The next step is just quickly performing a genuine check. Tap the button here to continue on Ledger Live and then back on your device and just allow Ledger Manager. And there you go, congratulations. You have your Ledger Nano S set up it's genuine you have your recovery phrase created and stored and you have your pin code set as well as an additional authentication step next up we're going to install the cardano app you need this application installed so that you can actually store send transfer ada 
from your ledger. There's various cryptocurrencies supported. In this case, I'm just going to search ADA and tap install. It's going to take a minute, but once this is done, we should have access to the ADA app on the Ledger Nano. We're going to be linking your hardware wallet with your ROI. But first, let's update the firmware. Just go through the steps here and download the update. So on the device, you're going to want to verify that the identifier you see on screen is the same as what appears on the device and then hit perform update. Enter your pin code so that you can unlock the device and then you just simply wait. Uh, you may need to unlock your device one more time but there you go you should have your firmware updated after this you're going to need to reinstall your application so with the ada app that we just installed is going to do a quick refresh here and after this we're good to go with the Euroi setup we're going to jump back over to our browser go to our Euroi wallet extension and tap on create new wallet and tap on the button that says connect to hardware wallet this is a step that's going to allow us to pair our ledger with your ROI wallet so that we can send, receive, and also stake our ADA to gain that passive income. So over here, we're going to select Shelly era. You want to make sure that your Ledger Nano is still plugged in. Enter the pin code if it's asking for it, and then we're going to select our device here. In this case, as you were following the steps, you may come across a screen that looks something like this, where it says a message that says something unexpected happened, please retry. I actually struggled with this myself, and that's why I did put this piece in the video. But what you want to do in this case and what worked for me was actually go over to your Ledger and, and navigate the menu options there and select quit. You want to exit the Cardano application over there and then uh, unplug your ledger, plug it back in, enter your pin code and open up the ADA app again and then proceed with the steps again. So you're going to close this window, tap on connect to hardware wallet again, select Cardano, select the ledger and then select Shelly era wallet. And this time when you do it, you should be able to click on Nano S and you should see a screen that looks something like this where it asks for permission to export your public key. So go over to your ledger and just follow the on-screen prompts there. If you do that correctly, you will come to this screen that asks you for the name of the wallet. So in this case, I'm gonna call it the better Euroi ledger and I'm gonna just tap save over there. And there you go, you have your wallet created. So this is Euroi over here. You can receive transactions, which is what we're gonna do first so that we can actually get ADA sent into to this wallet and you can also send transactions you can do some voting from here and you can also delegate or stake your ADA with a pool such as the better pool go over to your exchange account send ADA to this address that you just copied and once you're done that you can go over into the delegation list tap on the search bar and search for pool ticker BETTR so this is our pool this is a better pool if you want to support the channel if you want to join the better community definitely go ahead and consider delegating your ADA to our pool I'd really appreciate it and our goal is to keep increasing your passive income so we're not going to stop until we can maximize your potential rewards as a delegator once you're on this screen you can just tap delegate and follow the on-screen prompts it'll ask you to confirm the transaction action and at that point you need to go over to your ledger and follow the steps as shown on screen here you're going to need to go through the process of approving this transaction like i said the private key lives on your hardware device. So what's happening right now is you're sending the request to your hardware wallet. The hardware wallet is taking the request, verifying that it is as you expect, and then it's going to sign the transaction so that your ROI can then send it off onto the blockchain. If you follow that process, you will eventually see a screen that says you successfully delegated, and that's how you know you're part of the better family now. Thank you so much for watching this video. We've gone over quite a bit. We've created a pin code for our hardware wallet. We've accessed its recovery phrase, stored it safely on our physical recovery sheet. We've created a new Euroi wallet and we've linked that wallet to our hardware wallet. And finally, we've sent some ADA into the wallet so that we can go ahead and stake it with the better pool. If you had any challenges throughout any of these steps, definitely let me know down below in the comment section. I will be monitoring it and I'll be there and ready to help out in case anyone needs. You can also go ahead and visit our new Telegram group. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a quick thumbs up and thank you for staking with the better pool. I'll see you in the next video.